And welcome back to Echo Base Network. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I am the coach. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications for future Star Wars content. Today, we're going to talk about the disappointment of Disney Plus Day. Were you disappointed? Well, let me share my thoughts. And I think my thoughts may be a little bit unique here on YouTube. Most people probably don't share the same sentiment as I do, but I want to give you uh, my true feelings about this and see where you are in that as well. So many people are saying that Disney Plus Day was a major disappointment for Star Wars fans and the entire fandom on Disney Plus Day. So why are they disappointed? Because they didn't get an Andor trailer or another Boba Fett trailer? Here's something that I would like to stress to all Star Wars fans and something that we have learned here at Echo Base Network the hard way. Never, ever trust a leak. No matter how good it sounds, or how badly you want it to happen, you never know the truth behind any leaks or their motivation. We are living in an age where leakers, redditors, YouTubers, content creators, and everyone are turning more and more to wild stories, creating drama and all for the sole purpose of popularity and more than that, clicks and money. I understand that Star Wars news channels are hungry and need news bits of you know, every day, on a daily basis. And if you build your channel solely around news, then it is completely understood. And you know what you're getting when you go to those channels. That's why we here at Echo Base Network discuss leaks and rumors, but never, ever bank on them. We are a Star Wars fan channel first way before we consider ourselves a news channel. Because let's face it, the only people that really know anything that's happening with Star Wars more than 90% of the time work for Lucasfilm and Disney. As for the Star Wars content we get on Disney Plus Day, I was fine with it. The Boba Fett Under the Helmet documentary was excellent, and the fact that George Lucas was brought in to contribute to this documentary was a great win for the fans. It makes me speculate that Star Wars and things at Lucasfilm are truly changing momentum, and now things are turning in the favor of the fan base. After all, we are about to get more Star Wars in the next year than we've ever gotten in its history, dating all the way back to 1977. The Obi-Wan Kenobi sizzle reel was great, even though many people had seen it. Last December, it definitely created some more positive feelings for the series, and more and more people are looking forward to it. Now, if you think that Disney canceled their plans for Disney Plus Day concerning Andor, The Bad Batch Season 2, The Book of Boba Fett, and Kenobi, in order to punish the fans for any reason, then I couldn't disagree more. I'm not saying that everything Disney does makes sense by any means, and they have definitely made some grave errors concerning Star Wars since 2012. But I don't believe there is any way that anything for these shows were pulled for the reason for punishing the fan base. If I'm wrong about that, then I would hope Disney would find a new president for Lucasfilm today because that would be a mistake that could not be forgiven. I'm in agreement with the great Star Wars Meg, assuming that Disney wanted to save some of their Star Wars surprises for D23. With all of Disney's intellectual properties, none need to be handled with kid gloves and carried as if it were plutonium like Star Wars. After the past decade, every decision made is a critical one until the fan base has been won back over and healed if that ever happens. In my own opinion, Star Wars since 2012 has given us one good movie and one good live action TV show. The Clone Wars Season 7 was great, and I enjoyed The Bad Batch very much, but it is the Mandalorian that is carrying the Star Wars banner at the moment and keeping it alive. I expect that things are about to get even better when the Book of Boba Fett and Ahsoka debut, but we won't know until we see it. I admittedly do not have the level of faith that I do for the Favreau Filoni team anywhere else at this moment in time. To wrap all of this up, I hope that the reason we didn't get more Star Wars surprises on Disney Plus Day is because things are continuing to improve in the background at Lucasfilm behind closed doors. Star Wars is healing, and we are about to find out just how much in the near future. That's my hope anyways. It might be a fool's hope, but it is mine. Thank you so much for tuning in to Echo Base Network today. Nick and I will be having a live pop-in session in the very near future. 
where any of our viewers can join us live on the show and share your thoughts concerning any of the most recent developments with Star Wars. As always, I am the coach. We are, you are, Echo Base Network. May the force be with you, and we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching our video today, and we would like to give a special thank you to all of our members. You make what we do here at Echo Base Network possible, and we appreciate you more than we could ever explain. If you haven't already, join the best Star Wars community on YouTube today here at Echo Base Network, and we appreciate your consideration. As always, we are, you are, Echo Base Network. May the Force be with you, and we'll see you on the next one.